Hi guys, today we'll have a look at this uh, module. It is an electronics module from a uh, Soviet jet fighter. So as you can see, it is a grey box with uh, stuff on it. So what do we have? We have uh, a wire with uh, some very very special plug. I am showing you to it. You it. This is the manufacturer logo and the uh, dead code. I will zoom on it later. Here we have some uh, coax connectors. Five of them. On the side here we have a big uh, round uh, military connector. And this is a matching female connector for this plug, but I cannot. Uh, it is not easy to open. There is a cap on it, in fact. I will try to remove it later. Okay, then here is the manufacturer plate. You have uh, some trim pots behind uh, there. Here is the test points. Here is the model number and the serial number. Okay, so I will uh, remove the covers. So I have just two uh, aluminium covers to remove. I will show you the inside. So first, uh, you can see these things over the screws. They are in fact uh, seals, but it is a fail because you can turn them and the screw will come right off. But if not, it is a wax seal with uh, some uh, stamp on it. It is uh, supposed to prevent you turning the screw, but it does not work. Okay, so I will uh, open it and show you the, the contents. Here we are. So first I did remove uh, this uh, plug cover. So you can see how it looks, the matching uh, plug. Uh, female plug for this. It goes like this, and this part is a retainer. I did put it wrong, but it is the ID. Okay, then on the bottom first. So as you can see, there is a motherboard here, all the wirings, small uh, components, small resistors, and uh, so you can uh, receive uh, handmade. Uh, circuit tracks and you have uh, these things which are some kind of retaining screws and these things which are some tubes in fact uh, pipes for uh, vacuuming for vacuuming uh, what you will ask focus damn it so for vacuuming these modules, which are, I do not know what they are. They may contain some uh, hybrids maybe. <coughs> so there are four of them. They are individually uh, serial numbered. So it is quite interesting to see. Here, apart from that, uh, you have uh, some uh, uh, integrated circuits in a square package with uh, this one have uh, golden uh, caps on them. This weird thing is must be a transistor. You have a relay over here, some uh, transistors here with uh, heat sink. And uh, this side is just uh, resistors. So there are nice things in, in there. But uh, sadly, it is very complicated to dis take apart further than this, so I cannot uh, take apart without damaging it, as it is a collectible item. So one interesting thing is this cover, this, uh, the cover for this side. You have uh, some walls. I do not know the purpose, if it is for shielding or something like this. So it goes uh, like this between the... the the metal cans here. So I will zoom for you. Now you can see clearly the test points. 
if you can uh, want to try to translate, but it is not easy. So you remember, this is just uh, a bunch of uh, trim pots behind you there. Okay, there you have a close-up of the mildews. It is really, really a nice uh, a little thing. Very well made, very uh, high-grade electronics. I believe it is for weapon uh, controls. Or uh, counter measures, maybe. It is not... Uh, Something very usual anyway. Okay, so maybe you can have this as a computer background if you want. Now this for you. Okay, so here you have a small uh, coax connector, so it must be connected by some way to uh, some uh, antennas, so it must be uh, electronic uh, war system, maybe. Do we have any dead code we can uh, use? No, I don't see anyone. 16, no. No, there are no dead codes on these, resi these resistors, oddly enough. Maybe I have a dead code here. Yes, 88. 88, he has a dead code. You can see the plug, how it is made. Very nice. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye bye.